How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to The Source Code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be looking at creating custom inventories. Now we're not going to actually be doing any sort of adding items to the custom inventory that's going to be in the next episode when we look at inventory menus and how you can actually create inventories to perform custom actions and everything like that um, but just a reminder make sure to go on github all the code will be available for you guys on there and lastly make sure not to skip around this video or you guys could miss some code that could greatly affect the outcome of your plugin so the first thing we're going to do is we need to create a we don't need to create but i'm going to create uh create a new class here and we're just going to call this custom inventory there we go and we're gonna go ahead and say implements listener and now this is good we use this so we can listen on um, two other classes and four other classes and just because I'm lazy what we want to do is we want to go ahead and import our main class uh, we want to create an instance of our main class inside of our custom inventories class we're just going to do that by doing private plugin plugin equals tutorial dot get plugin tutorial dot class and this is going to be whatever you called your main class mine is just called tutorial and then we're going to go ahead and create a new constructor we're going to call it public void uh, new inventory and this is going to we're going to need a player and we're going to cast that player as player and we're going to go ahead and do that there and we're going to go ahead and import everything and now creating a custom inventory is actually a lot easier than it might seem it doesn't really take any it takes one line of code that's like technical well if you include this this is to technically take takes three lines of code but realistically it takes one line of code and it's really as simple as just going inventory i equals plugin dot get server dot create inventory and it's going to be this very last one here and now we want this one because we need the inventory uh holder or sorry, not the very last one. It's actually going to be this one right here, inventory holder. And I mean, it doesn't really matter which one you select because you'll be able to, to do the same thing no matter which one you select. Um, but this is, this first spot here is going to be inventory holder, which we're just going to set that as null. Um, I don't actually know what that is. Um, so we're just going to set that as null. This next spot here is going to be how many slots you want your inventory to be. And now your inventories have to be in multiples of nine. Um, it can't be any less than nine and it can't be any greater than 54. It's going to allow you to create an inventory that is greater than 54, um, but it's going to start getting really, really funky, and it's not going to look all that good. So we're just going to go ahead and say 9, and then we're going to give it a custom name, and we're going to call it chat color dot dark green, and we're going to go plus, and we're going to say tutorial inventory, and then we're going to go ahead and do that there, and we want to import inventory, and you technically have created your inventory. And so what we can do now is we can actually go ahead and call that player that we casted earlier. And we can just go ahead and say player dot open inventory. And we'll just go ahead and open inventory I. So we made so basically we just created our custom inventory. Like that's really as easy as it is. And what's happening now is we're creating our inventory and then we're going to have that player open the inventory when we call this constructor new inventory right so we're gonna go ahead and create a new command here and we're just gonna call it uh, we're gonna copy this one and we're gonna just call this inventory and now what we're doing and this is our commands class so if you haven't seen our commands episode um, make sure to go watch that and then come back to this video um, just open up a new tab or something because um, you're gonna want to know how to do commands um, but basically we're creating our, our own list here of our commands that we want to use so that way we can keep track of them easier and we can call them on different classes and everything like that and so we have a command one which is give item from the commands episode and we're going to have command two uh, which is going to be inventory for this episode and then what we want to do is we just want to say if cmd dot get name dot equals ignore case and we want equals ignore case so that way it doesn't matter how the player types uh, inventory in um, it'll it'll still recognize it so if they have all uppercase all lowercase every other uppercase every other letter lowercase it doesn't matter it's gonna recognize it and now what we have to do is we have to create a cast of player on sender um, so that way 
the server knows that this is going that the sender is actually a player and then we want to go ahead and say we want to create a new uh, instance of our inventory class that we have or our custom inventory class we're just going to do it by saying custom inventory i equals new custom inventory and that's going to be as easy as that we'll go ahead and it's auto automatically imported already and then we're just going to go ahead and say i dot new inventory which is our constructor that we made or whatever you called it and player and also you want to go ahead and go to your plugin.yml and add your command into here um, once again if you didn't watch our commands episode make sure to go watch it because it's going to explain your plugin.yml and how to do your commands on there um, but you're just going to go ahead and say inventory usage and then your description um, which your description can be really anything that you want it to be and now if you go ahead and export this it should be ready to go and if we do a reload there oh just kidding we gotta do one more thing we have to go to our main class here and we have to set um, an executor for that command and we have to do git command cmd2 and we're gonna set the executor as the commands class uh, again make sure to go watch the commands episode it's gonna explain all that um, in greater detail um, but basically what's happening is it's just allowing us to execute the command inventory in our server so we're gonna be here and if we go ahead and do slash inventory it's going to open up our custom inventory and so that's really as simple as it is um, but I'm gonna show you guys what happens if you guys try to do something that's not in a, uh, a multiple of nine so if we do say something like 10 your server will restart fine your your plugin will run fine like I can do give item from our last um, episode from our commands episode and it's gonna it's gonna work just fine but when I go ahead and try to do inventory we're gonna get this huge error and why well, not this huge error we're gonna get an error in our stack trace here or in our console and it's going to tell us that chest must have a size that is a multiple of nine um, so really you can do any sort of multiple of nine so we can go ahead and say 27 right and we can go ahead and export this and reload and there we go 27 so that's all I got for you guys today if you guys enjoyed this video um, make sure to leave a like leave a comment and subscribe also all the code will be available to you on github and lastly make sure to follow me on twitter at the underscore source underscore code and thank you so much for watching next episode we're going to be looking at inventory menus so make sure to keep this code close because we're going to use this exact same code but we're going to be looking at some different um, events and everything like that so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys later